I've been sitting here listening to this song for like the last 10 minutes, and it goes hella hard. Welcome, everybody, to Axiom Verge. This is one of those games that's been a long time coming for me. I've had it on my Steam list as a game that has been, down, you know, installable. Basically, it was purchased for me by our boy Dragon, Dragon Nif, or Palasa Dragon as he goes by these days. Uh, it's been sitting there for about a year or so now, a little over a year now. But it's a game that came out in 2015. Where you, why have you been sleeping on this game for so long, Funky? And the truth is, I haven't been. I just never bought the game, so I just never got around to playing it. It wasn't one of those ones I was excited about when it came out because I didn't know about it when it came out. It was kind of an under-the-radar game. I heard about it. heard it was like a Metroidvania. Was interested mildly, but never really looked into it to, like, actually play it but over the years i've heard good things about it and i always figured if one day i got my hands on a copy i would play it and so since it was purchased for me it's about damn time i've been trying to get through more of these games that i have waiting around in my backlog especially the ones i want to play so axiom verge it is um like i mentioned already it is a metroidvania game it's very much made in an old school i think nes style i mean just look at these graphics listen to this music very old school style graphics going on i mean Hell, it didn't even have an intro when I launched the game, so I don't even know if there's any dang story other than just, like, here's here's a Metroid game. Drop you in and go. Like, I don't know if there's any story exposition when we kick off the game. But uh, as you can see here on the title screen, there's speedrun options, randomizer options built into the game, which is pretty cool. I, If I love the game enough, maybe we'll dabble in that someday, but certainly my only goal here is to just do my first playthrough and check out the game. So without further ado... Axiom Verge, get hyped. Let's do this. I'm, this must be our guy right here. Mr. Red Shirt and Brown Pant Man. Ooh, um, we're going to stick to normal because I don't know how hard this can get. Metroid games can get pretty pretty tough if you do them hard, if they were hard modes. <clears throat> so I'm going to stick with normal. Oh, we got exposition. New Mexico, 2005. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and based on that title screen music, I'm expecting some kick-ass tunes in this game overall. Looking forward to it. Trace. It's charged... Oh, thanks, Hammond. Starting the pulse now. So this guy's name is Trace. If only it would work this time. I didn't realize the dialogue was going to go away that fast. <laughs> It's like the title screen music, but a little more going on. I like this. That's weird. The beamlet was completely destroyed. Trace, there's a problem. What's the sa What's that sound? As the building collapsed on top of me, I knew it was all over. My life, my goals, all fruitless. But if this were truly the end, if I'd simply died and stayed that way, well, let's just say that everything would have been a lot different. Instead, we had to play a video game. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, we dropped in on Samus' ship. Just kidding. But this is very Metroid right here off the bat. Trace. Wake up, Trace. So we're playing as Trace. Got it. Uno, dos, Trace. Ugh, what happened? Trace, there is a gun in next room. You must get it. Wait, what's going on? Where are you? Hello? Where am I? Press up to save. Okay, so this is a save point. Just like with Samus' ship in Metroid, the first screen. You can save it. So we don't even have a gun yet. He said gun next room. Well, do I believe it's left room or right room? You know Funky always goes left. Always left. Okay, I was checking to see if these red things hurt me. They don't. So top right is our map. Top left is our health bar. I'm assuming that's what that red bar is. I'm pretty sure I couldn't have gone right anyways. Well, let me discover that for myself, Martin Guard. This is Deuteroid instead of Metroid, indeed. Whoa, that's a lot of alien languages. All right, we got the Axiom Disruptor, a high-tech biomechanoid weapon. X to shoot, LB to lock position. Oh, let that music kick in, baby. Is this that the gun that lady mentioned? Or did I just imagine her? 
Sorry, I'm very weak. You must go now before he finds you. Before who finds me? What's going on? I guess she's gone again. Oh, so that was a girl's voice? Okay. All right, so just to confirm, I can I have to I can't hold the button down. It doesn't do anything unless we get a charge shot maybe later. You have to match the button. You can shoot in all eight directions, I'm assuming. Yes. Good shit. Good shit. Uh If you if I hold LB, I can aim in all eight directions without moving. So that's nice. I'm trying to decide if I should play with joystick or D-pad, but we'll see. I'm assuming there will be random secrets and walls and shit like Metroid, but maybe there'll be an easy way to check on that. Oh, I see. We have to pop our way through this this red goobity goobity goop. I gotcha. Nice. So I can't run and shoot? Oh, yeah, I can. What am I even talking about? Can't run and shoot. Just don't hold the LB button down, dummy. All right, well, I had my fun. Let's move on, shall we? I see. I didn't realize that to the right, there was this red shit blocking the way, so I wouldn't have been able to go that way anyways. I see. Noted. Anyway, let's save it again, because this is important stuff. I'm just being ridiculous. All right, moving on. But yes, welcome to everybody who's here in the stream. Appreciate you hanging out on an early fri uh, Friday. It's not Friday yet, dude. It's only Tuesday. Yes, streaming this on a Tuesday. But I've started early today, like I said, just because... I don't know. I wasn't really... Work just... I wasn't getting anything done. Slow day. Nobody around. It's like... It's whatever, man. Everybody's off this week. I'm working from home still, you know? And it's like, whatever. I'm just gonna fucking... Stream. Early. Whatever. That's pretty much how and why this is happening at this time slot. But anyway, yes, it's an extremely early Friday. My my days are all fucked up, guys. I've had I've had some um, some busy days lately, so you have to excuse my frazzled brain. I don't have more fall bomb yet, so I can't go down there. It's probably gonna be just some explosive grenade or something. My, a, 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 a trip mine or some bullshit, you know. But we're gonna systematically check every door. We don't know anything about this, so we don't know what can get us through where. Okay, so this one has like a pink oh it's just a sensor we have to shoot that red beam up that red ball up there so we need some kind of weapon that curves around corners or explodes really big or something like that to get rid of that force field noted so something to slow, to slow the floor something to like steer or ricochet up into a you know to hit switches i kind of want to check like all these like crevasses and see if there's anything in them like dead ends and shit ah get good at the platforming pleb it's easy sauce pleb dig in the music i feel like it will get repetitive after a while though because it is kind of the same shit we've been hearing so i hope as we get to like new areas and new landscapes maybe we'll get some new music i'm really hoping so Well, so far, I'm not hating the music, that's for sure. It's good shit. It goes hard. Part of it, like, kind of reminds me, the music itself kind of reminds me of, like, um, the hell is it called? Uh, Hotline Miami. Something about it gives me, like, a hot Mi Hotline Miami vibe. The music I'm talking about, not the game. The game itself, obviously. Feels very Metroid so far. The setting is a very alien Metroid, you know, planet vibe. And obviously that's what the gameplay is as well. That black white gristle on the plan reminded you of a on the plant sleeping uh, a sleeping limb. Reminded you of a sleeping limb? What? Like if your like if your leg falls asleep or something? Is that what you mean? Also, I'm pretty sure I can go up this way, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, before I go up there. I want to finish exhausting my, my path this way. I guess I will. Oh, well. Wait, wait. I can go I can go hit that switch. I totally can. It just reminds you of your leg falling asleep. I got you. Okay, so we can totally shoot that switch to get through. Alright, well now I kinda wanna go up first and see what goes up like what's up there. I mean we'll still have it on the map, but I kinda wanna know. Maybe it'll be nothing, maybe I'll be a dead end. I don't know. We're gonna go find out together. 
I can't even get up there now. What am I doing? I have to keep those these to get up there. I'm stupid. Oh, they reset. Okay, good. I mean, I had I thought they reset. I was I was concerned for a second though. Oh god. I I I Oh my god. Ah! Hi, yi yi. If there's another one of those, no thank you. That guy almost that almost died. Also, I totally cannot go this way, can I? Ow. Nope, definitely can't go that way. Okay. Well, never mind. I'm going this way. It's like a glitchy ass wall up there. Can't go through the glitchy ass wall. Noted. I need health is what I need. I got fucking wrecked, y'all. Okay, we got our health back. I was a little concerned. That thing whooped my ass, but we're good. Okay, so this is the way we must go. So this is the way we shall go. Let's do it. So it looks like I won't be able to go back this way until I find a way to get that switch. Because as soon as I leave this screen, that force field is coming back. We've already learned that. trying to see if there's anything cool down here. There's definitely not going to be, but you never know. I'm going to find my Metroid secrets. It's going to happen. If there is, like, secret walls and shit, hopefully there's an item that can, like, scan things, you know, like the X-ray visor. Because having to find secret walls in a Metroid game can always be a pain in the ass if it's required for anything. This area is looking a little different. Ooh, what are we about to get, y'all? Something fancy. It's the Google God. What is it? The Nova. Firing once launches a large projectile. Firing again launches, causes it to detonate. Okay, so this is going to make me be able to hit the switches because it's going to blow up real big. I wonder if it also could blow up the blocks below me in that one room. We'll have to test that theory out. Okay, so that's just my regular bullet. I don't... Is there a way to switch? Okay. This is me actually looking at what the menus are. We have map. We have inventory. Okay. Okay, you can switch. Okay, you know what? I can probably switch quickly between weapons, right? Okay, so... That's odd. That's an interesting way. Okay, so right now, my only way to quickly do it that I can see... Is if I click the left stick or the right stick, I can go between the original gun and this gun. Okay. Well, at least it's quick. I thought there'd be like, maybe like some other way, but maybe either when there's more than two to choose from, there'll be another way. Either way, we have ways to hit those switches now. That's good enough for me. Um, we could try it out on enemies, see how it works. But yeah, obviously our first test is, hits a switch. Not bad, not bad. I don't really know if that's the most efficient way to kill that big ass thing, but... I can tell you right now, I don't really want to... Uh... Sorry, I gotta get you good, good switching quickly. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to go up there and fight that guy yet. I feel like what I just got is not something that's going to get me past that glitchy wall. I just don't feel like it is. I'm going to check, I think. Well, I'm going to try to check. Let's see if this guy's back. If he's back, man, I don't want to fight this guy again. Screw that. I'm just not going to do it. You know what? I won't kill him. I'll just run from him and try it out. That's what I will do. I'll ignore him as best I can without dying, hopefully. Okay, as expected, it does nothing. I didn't expect it to do anything, but you know, we have to make sure for completionist's sake and knowing what we need to come back with. So we need to find a way through glitchy walls, noted. But we already have at least one thing we can do with this new weapon, so let's go do it. DJ, you're digging the particle effects, like the distortion around the bullets and stuff. 
Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm I'm digging the particle effects of when like an enemy dies, the explosions and shit. It's pretty cool. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the extra details. It's definitely something you wouldn't see in an NES game normally, because an NES game would normally like, you know, it would just pop out of existence. Maybe leave an item behind, but not straight up explode into particles. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Okay, so we have multiple ways to go. We can go up here, or we can go down another way. I, I didn't mean to fall. That was not on purpose. I also don't want to die right now, please. Oh. How do, hold up. What? How did I get into this menu? Oh, here I am clicking L and R. All I had to do was hit the right stick, and it would have... If you just touch the right stick, it goes into this menu. I'm dumb. I'm over here clicking it because it's working, which is nice. Also, I think I accidentally switched one and two around. Which I didn't mean to do. How did I do that? Okay, maybe... I'm hella confused. Okay, I switched it back. Doesn't really matter, I'm just... Confusing myself. I need a save point. I'm gonna die. Or I need to get more health back. I'd prefer not to die, please. Give me some health, please. Thank you. I don't like I don't like the look of this situation. This looks dangerous, y'all. These butterflies look dangerous. That's a dangerous looking butterfly. Got most of my health back. Let's just keep on pressing forward. So far, the exploding the exploding ability we got is nice, but not necessary for anything too crazy. What is this? Size node permanently increases projectile size for weapons. Projectile size? So my bullet's bigger now? I guess like my bullets take up more space and hit more things all at once I'm assuming okay I'm not mad at it kind of a weird upgrade but sure when pixels matter sometimes size is all you need baby Oh, pixels matter. Well, sure. Every pixel. All right, let's get down. Let's see. This room, was this the one that I had to blow up a thing? You know what I want to do before I go through this door? Because it's obvious I can go through this door. Let's check to see if it, this blows up the floor. I, I really need to know. Can't say you notice the difference right away. It's probably very minor, DJ, because most likely that size upgrade is like you get more of it. Like, I feel like I'll get more of those size upgrades and then it'll be super noticeable later. Like, I feel like that's like a minor thing. You know what I mean? It's minor because it is. And it'll only get bigger as we go. That's what I'm thinking. So, my new weapon does not blow up floors. Noted. Still looking for a morph ball bomb for that, I suppose. So, instead, we go in the only other way that we know we can go for now. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I'm gonna die, man. Can we get a save point? Something item over there that I probably can't get right now. Yeah. We need to figure out a way to blow up this wall, I guess. I don't really know what the hell. I'm thinking once we get like Morph Ball Bomb, you know, whatever the hell the equivalent of that's gonna be. That's how we're going to be able to, like, check walls for stuff. That's basically how it is in Metroid. Once you get Morph Ball Bomb, you can start checking all all blocks to see if they're explodable. Yes, save point. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank God. Does it heal you, too? It does. Beautiful. All right, cool. I was a little concerned with my situation health-wise, and I hadn't saved it yet. 
Not that anything I've done so far has taken a while, but now we're good. All right, moving on. Oh. Oh. More story stuff? Uh. Uh. Maybe this is just a trans... Maybe this is just transition to the next room? Like their next kind of area, rather? Or it's a boss fight, okay. Oh boy, boss fight, here we go. Crap, I'm trapped. Demon. Whoa, hey, you can talk. You can talk? Listen, I'm uh, lost and... Demon, Athletose, kill. Okay. All right, well, I'm digging the boss fight music, first of all. Good stuff. And from what I see right now, we got some bullet hell shit going on. It looked like a Mega Man corridor boss corridor. That is probably a good way to look at it. Oh my god, is this guy gonna give me the bombs? Is he gonna is he gonna give me this exact ability? This this is where he's throwing these bombs at me? Is that the ability that I'm gonna get? Anyway, I'm totally gonna die on this first attempt. That's okay. Damn it. This is what, wait, what, what happens when you die? Oh. Oh. Well, took me back to the save point. Okay. Right. Only if you survive, Funky. No bombs for you. I know, I just got fucked up. God, what just happened? You died. We saved your mind machines. What? What? I'm sorry, miss. I think, hope, I'm misunderstanding something. Could you try rephrasing that? Hello? Ah, oh, man, this is insane. I died? Am I still me? We saved your mind machines? That's an interesting concept, to say the least. All right, well, I guess we'll learn more about that as we go. In the meantime, rematch with the boss. Here we go. So, yeah, this room is definitely like a Mega Man boss room door. Like, about to transition to a boss room. I get it. Well, I guess we're just going to have to get good. Not that this is that hard to dodge. I just need to stop getting hit. One thing I'm definitely not noticing here is I don't see a fucking health bar for the boss, which I always hate. I'm also glad the bombs don't actually hurt you until they blow up. Like, they're not touching you. Touching a bomb doesn't hurt you, which is nice. Ah, it's trying to get around now. Oopsies. Bolts are coming out faster. Did he change color, too? I feel like he changed color a little bit. Bullets are definitely coming at me much faster. He's moving faster, for that matter. Got he! Ooh. And we got he. Hell yeah, baby. Well, he didn't immediately drop anything new. They might just not have a word for brains. What, mind machines? <laughs> I love when games have a little message the first time you actually die to give a feeling of it's part of the world of the player. Yeah, exactly. I, I like that, too. It kind of gives you a reason why you keep dying and respawning. Like, that's part of the game. It's not just like, oh, you died. Here's your checkpoint. Anyway, thank you for the too easy, because that shit was too easy. We're definitely gonna get bombs, cause look at what the, look what we're seeing here, or some way to blow up the blocks below me, whether it's bombs or whatever. Laser drill, that'll do. Who needs bombs when you can laser drill? That's what I told myself it was gonna be, right? That was my first guess, right? Laser drill. Ha! <laughs> nice. Okay, so it's just a close range weapon. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. <laughs> Fucking laser drill. I I love it. It's it's not what I expected and I love it. I absolutely love it. So there are, are other blocks you can also plow through. That's good to know. Learning. It's going to be our first ability that lets us actually, you know, break through blocks to find secrets. But anyway, permanently increases weapon and item damage. Okay, so power node is just a straight up, uh, just a strength upgrade, really. Good times. Power drill for the win. All right, so now that we have power drill, we can go through that one path back over here below. But I think before we go over there, let's uh, let's pop a save for beating that boss, because that would be wise. That would be wise indeed. You know what else I kind of want to do? Look for secrets. All right, one thing I'm not a fan of the sound effect that this drill makes. It's too realistic. It's true. Dr it's too drill like. I do like its damage output though. I'm not hating. I never thought I'd complain about the sound of a drill in a game, but Jesus. That's going to get old quick. 